cutting this timber into pieces of wood suited for the production of a specific work is called object-oriented cutting or pidori. It is considered one of the most difficult woodworking processes. Kidori is so important that it comprises half of their work. In fact, Kidori starts from the moment when the woodworker, imagining the final object, concentrates on how to cut the timber to best suit his purpose. This involves taking into account a multitude of criteria that will ultimately help him decide the best way of cutting. These criteria are aesthetic, economic, and technical in nature, and they play a large part in determining the quality of the final object. After the woodworker has decided how to cut the wood, he draws outlines on the timber and proceeds to cut it. For example, if a log of Japanese cedar is cut radially, the growth rings are displayed showing a straight grain surface. If the same log is sawn a little off the true radial, then a middle grain is produced. If, on the other hand, the log is cut tangentially, the wide sawn faces of the boards display the growth rings in a pattern corresponding to the cone-like growth structure. In other words, as part of a series of superimposed parabolas. A tangentially cut board taken closer to the outside part of the stem shows a flat sawn grain. When taken closer to the pith of the stem, it shows a centered flat sawn grain. Both flat sawn grain and centered flat sawn grain are called half quartered. The interviews revealed the various difficulties presented by Kidori in the woodworking field. In each individual field, Kidori was accompanied by specific problems. One of the characteristics of the Aizu Polonia clog, for instance, is that straight grain, and when you put both get a come from the same log together like so, the tree rings line up. In order to obtain that surface, the wood grain of wood species has to run continuously around all four sides and that comes from the same log. In the field of bent work, the woodworker buys the logs and asks the wood seller to do the rough splitting. The sawmiller cuts the logs into sections. The cutting has to be done in such a way that the knots do not appear on the surface. After the wood has been transported to his workshop, he proceeds with the object-oriented cutting by splitting the wood in a radial direction. A comprehension of the technical aspects of woodwork is essential for a deeper understanding of wood. Wood is an organic material, and each wood species shows unique characteristics. A Japanese woodworker's understanding of these properties and his handling of them are at the heart of his relationship with wood. A craftsman expresses great respect for wood and follows its dictates, at the same time, he uses his skills to enhance the essence of his material. Therefore, when admiring an artifact, we should also be aware of and appreciate the skill of the craftsman who made it.